Understanding the market can simplify knowing how much to buy and sell cars for. Find out the next biggest thing for vehicle valuation. Um, I think there's been a fundamental uh, transformation uh, in the market regarding vehicle valuation. Historically, values have been derived from the wholesale market because the wholesale market was really the only place that there was transactional visibility of vehicles. But what has happened over the past decade and as a result of new technologies is that the retail market today provides a high degree of visibility of the marketplace and uh, valuation ability. Uh, we can't necessarily see vehicles transact per se in the retail marketplace, but we can see when they come and when they go and at what price they go and how long they've been at that price before they go. And what we've come to understand is that vehicles in the retail marketplace will transact within a predictable range a standard deviation, but a predictable standard deviation range of their mean asking price. So consequently, if we can see the retail asking price landscape for vehicles in a market in sufficient quantity, which today we can do, we know with a high degree of precision where they'll actually transact. So what we have now, arguably, is an alternative, and I might say a better, others might disagree, what we have today is a better place uh, to determine vehicle values, that being against the retail market as opposed to the wholesale market. Because after all, from the perspective of an automobile dealer, most of their vehicles are intended for retail. And what every good car guy and gal has ever known to be true is that the best way to know how to get in a car is to first know how to get out.